hello students in this video we will be talking about uh, some of the research tools or the tools which are given by some international authorities or organizations to actually understand the quality of the research which has been conducted or which has already been uh, conducted there are three such tools before i begin with the video i got this request that i shall start making the videos in hindi language but beta there are already ample of videos available on the youtube if you seriously would like to learn in hindi you can actually watch them what i believe is that the more you listen to the language the more you acquire it so it is all about language acquisition uh, moreover i use quite <coughs> basic sentence structure when i make such videos so that almost everyone can understand them hmm? uh, so the three tools which we gonna study today are h index i index and g10 index so uh, h index it got it uh, actually the concept came into picture back in 2005 when uh, internet was also quite you know people were aware about it people started uh, publishing papers online uh, and also these um, tools to check plagiarism and all they also uh, were made and people uh, most of the scientific community it started using them so then it the quality that what kind of quality is the of the paper which anyone has published is there so a person whose name was george e hirsch h i r s c h he came up with the idea of h index the technique i'll be giving you in case you get this kind of question anywhere in ugc or any other test so your answer won't be wrong the technique is quite simple you can follow it and you will get all the answers right you don't have to go in detail and all so the first one is h index what h index is uh, i'll be showing you my notebook and we'll be counting it so if you see let's say i have published 10 papers okay and the citations which i have for my these papers are like this 50 2 4 8 10 1 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 5 so when we have to go uh, check that what is the h index of any of um, like h index of this particular writer this particular author this particular scholar or scientist so any paper that has more than five citations will come under will be counted for the h index it means it has some quality so here 50 then 2 no 4 no 8 10 9 10 and 5 so these papers will come under the category of h index and out of these although i have published 10 papers but my h index would be 6 if you actually want you can uh, google in case you have published a lot of papers you can check your name on google scholar you can check my name also on the google scholar uh, so what i have seen that although i have published uh, quite a few papers but uh, there was a paper of mine uh, published back in 2013 in a q1 journal because the journal was q1 because the paper has been actually cited quite a few times that paper is only being counted and it is said that the h index actually signifies the age the, uh, the research age of the scholar this is said so i only have one so it means my research age is only one so but never mind uh, after that i changed my field of study from marine science i became an english language trainer and teacher okay so after this uh, if you see this thing now what is the difference between i uh, i10 index and h index is that i10 index then they said that people do a lot of uh, self citations so getting into five is not a big deal they, people refer their own papers over and over again so what they uh, did they came up with another index called i10 index and in this the number of papers with more than 10 citations they qualify for i10 index okay the last one is g index now g index is quite important if you see because people easily get confused with the g index g index is actually it was uh, like h index the idea came in the year 2005 so within a year they realized that we should uh, you know come up with something more concrete more substantial so they came up with another technique called g index now see what g index is the technique i am showing you in case you get this question your answer won't be wrong the technique always works right so the concept was given by leo egg e w g h e from 
some people call it a j some people call it egg so from there because there was a double g so they may named it g con uh, index now in this uh, this is an index for quantifying the productivity in science based on the publication record it is only on the author's level so what they do is although there is a formula this is the formula that g square is less than um, is less than or equal to the, the average of citations so basically you don't have to uh, remember the formula what you need to do is you need to be, uh, arrange the papers google scholar does this thing where there are various other online uh, tools they they will do this thing for you but still in case you have to count what you have to do is take the average of all the citations so what we did just like uh, i am taking the same example i had 10 papers and i have uh, arranged these papers based on their citations hmm? so 50 this 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 so i have arranged the papers like this now when i get uh, the average the average is 10 it's actually 102 by 10 so this is 10.2 so almost 10 they say that if you draw a, a square a square this one will be a square this will actually cut the graph here at 10 so whether you are taking this thing or this thing so this is the g index the g the average is the g index you just basically count the uh, average you calculate the average of the citations total number of citations divided by the number of papers you have published you already have your g index answer galat nahi hoga that i can guarantee you and because there are yes some nuances in this thing because the, you know it's a research process of course they have some other factors also but we are just studying it from ugc neck point of view rest we have to, to do our job don't waste your time over there in counting and calculating and just doing the sigma this this why you have to do that thing simply just get the average and your work has been done i hope this video will be helpful keep reading keep sharing god bless take care bye bye